Hi, welcome back to the channel. Dry gas, a familiar name on the shelves of auto parts stores, has sparked debate for years. This alcohol-based additive promises to address water contamination in gasoline, a potential culprit behind engine woes. But is dry gas a magic bullet, or is it an unnecessary addition to your car's diet? Let's find out in this video. Dry gas, often referred to by the brand name Heat, is an alcohol-based fuel additive. The primary ingredient is typically either methanol or isopropyl alcohol, both known for their ability to bind with water. This hygroscopic property makes them effective moisture magnets, attracting water molecules suspended in gasoline. The presence of water in gasoline can arise from condensation in the fuel tank, especially during temperature fluctuations. This water can cause a multitude of problems. In cold climates, it can freeze in fuel lines, leading to engines stuttering and stalling. Water can also promote corrosion within the fuel system and dilute the fuel's octane rating, impacting engine performance. By binding with water, dry gas helps prevent these issues. The alcohol-water mixture burns off during combustion, effectively removing the water from the system. Additionally, dry gas may contain other ingredients like detergents and upper cylinder lubricants, touted to clean fuel injectors and improve overall engine performance. The need for dry gas has become a topic of discussion with the introduction of ethanol in modern gasoline blends. Ethanol, itself an alcohol, possesses similar hygroscopic properties, binding with water and preventing it from freezing. Many gasoline stations now offer E10 blends, containing up to 10% ethanol. This built-in water defense raises the question, is dry gas still necessary? The answer is nuanced. While ethanol offers some protection against water, dry gas can offer additional benefits. It can further lower the freezing point of the water-alcohol mixture compared to ethanol alone, providing extra protection in extremely cold climates. Some dry gas formulations contain detergents that can help clean fuel injectors, potentially improving engine performance, especially in older vehicles. If you suspect your fuel system already has water contamination, dry gas can help remove it. However, using dry gas also comes with potential drawbacks. Modern vehicles, particularly those not designed as flex fuel vehicles, may not be compatible with high concentrations of alcohol. Using dry gas in such vehicles can lead to corrosion, sensor malfunctions, and even damage fuel system components. Alcohol burns hotter than gasoline, and while the amount of alcohol in dry gas is relatively small, it can slightly decrease fuel economy. If your car is functioning well and you live in a climate with moderate winters, Dry gas might be an unnecessary expense. Ultimately, the decision to use dry gas hinges on several factors. Consult your car's owner's manual for recommendations on fuel additives. Newer vehicles with ethanol blended fuel may not require dry gas. If you live in a region with harsh winters where fuel line freezing is a concern, dry gas can offer additional protection. If you're experiencing engine performance issues like stalling or rough idling, especially after a period of heavy rain or high humidity, water contamination might be a culprit. Dry gas could be a temporary solution, but it's advisable to consult a mechanic for a proper diagnosis. Here are some additional tips for using dry gas safely and effectively. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for dosage. Adding too much dry gas can damage your engine. Use only reputable brands of dry gas. Don't use dry gas as a preventative measure if your car is running well and you don't suspect water contamination. If you're unsure about using dry gas, consult a trusted mechanic. While dry gas can be a helpful tool in specific situations, it's not a substitute for proper fuel system maintenance. Here are some practices to keep your car's fuel system healthy. Get regular oil changes. Modern engine oils contain detergents that help keep fuel injectors clean. Use high-quality gasoline. Top-tier gas stations often add detergents to their fuel blends, 
Promoting cleaner fuel systems. Avoid letting your gas tank run too low. This allows water condensation to form more readily in the tank. Consider using a fuel system cleaner periodically. These cleaners added to the fuel tank can help remove built-up deposits and improve fuel efficiency. However, consult your owner's manual and choose a reputable brand for this. In conclusion, fry gas can be a valuable tool in your automotive arsenal, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Understanding its purpose, potential benefits, and drawbacks, and the role of ethanol in modern fuel are crucial before adding it to your fuel tank. By prioritizing proper fuel system maintenance and using dry gas judiciously based on your car's needs and climate, you can ensure smooth operation and optimal engine performance. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and also subscribe to this channel for more informative videos.